What's up guys, this is Bill with the Catfish Chronicles. And today I wanted to show you how to tie the polymer knot, which is the knot that I use most often. It provides the most line strength. It's easy to tie, I can tie it in the dark. And I'm going to show you today here with a standard Eagle Claw 84 hook and a piece of braided super line just because this is what shows up well on camera. Now normally you would take your line here, you'd have your sinker and your beads or whatever because I always fish with the hook on bottom. Okay, what I would do is go six to eight inches from the end, double the line over, hold the hook this direction, stick the double line through, and then half of a square knot. I don't know if it really makes a difference but I always do it to where the loop is coming back over the point. Then you hang on to this end you just pulled through and then cinch it, cinch it on down If I can get a hold of it, like so, cinch it down tight. There you go. Super simple knot to tie. When I trim these tag ends, I usually trim them half to three quarter inches long because it don't really affect how the fish are going to bite. It's super strong, so let's uh, do a little experiment and tie this up on some 10 pound test mono and put the scales on it and see how strong this knot is. Okay, let me show you the setup. We've got the scale turned on and zeroed out. The hook is in the bottom of it. And we're gonna start putting pressure on this 10 pound test mono line to see if the polymer knot actually delivers a comparable brake strength. We're at 11. 12. Oh. Looked like that was about 13 pounds of brake strength out of 10 pound test monofilament. So I hope you guys use the polymer knot and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.